My name is Chris. I'm in my 30s. Uh, I'm an engineer and I'm also a game designer as well. It's necessary that people step into action. At the moment, we have an unfolding emergency, the climate emergency, and the natural world's breaking down. And it's up to people like us, you know, people of, I suppose, moral respectability to step into action and to treat this like the emergency it is and to take action that's proportionate. And proportionate action is action that's disruptive, action that increases the cost for those who are doing the harm. And uh, at this time, we need to keep our government accountable. We had a climate emergency declaration in South Australia earlier in the year. And now that same government is inviting Halliburton, Shell, Santos, Chevron, all to Adelaide, all to our state for this oil and gas conference. It's just not on. So we need to stop it. We need to blockade it. I hope that it increases the cost for those that are willing to cause us harm because that's really what's happening right now. You know, I was born in the late 80s and at that time we'd hit over 350 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And so I was born into a world where, where it was already too hot, like emissions were already at an unsafe level. And through my 30 or so years, you know, we've perpetuated this idea that things are going to get done and we're going to deal with this emergency and we're going to reduce emissions. But in that time, emissions have increased, right? Since we've known about it, you know, our governments have been systematically lying to us about the seriousness of this crisis. And all of these companies are profiting madly off of it. Knowingly, you know, they know what they're doing. They know and have known since the 70s about this problem, even earlier than that. And, you know, our governments continue to say they'll do something. But at the moment, you know, we could have 114 new oil and gas projects in Australia. It's disgusting. It's disgusting that these people can come to Adelaide and hold their conference. It's disgusting that they're going to do it again uh, next year for the APEA conference in Adelaide. It's disgusting that a government that declared a climate emergency is allowing this to happen. And, you know, we have to stop it. Like, that's what needs to be done now. And I'm prepared to do what's necessary to stop this industry. Yeah, so I suppose I'm with Extinction Rebellion because Extinction Rebellion understands what's at stake and they treat it seriously. You know, we've had over 30 years now of people doing marches and petitions and meeting with politicians and all that stuff is great. And it's important that we keep doing that. You know, it's a display of the power and the love that we have to protect, you know, Earth, you know, our only home. But that hasn't worked. And so we need a step into resistance, right? That means day after day, returning and disrupting the fossil fuel industry and forcing the government to make a decision. You know, are they on the side of us, the nonviolent protesters who are here to protect the planet? Or are they on the side of the fossil fuel companies? Right. It's really simple. And that's why I'm with Extinction Rebellion. There's a great crew here. We look after each other. We care about each other. You know, we're facing this incredibly hostile and toxic capitalist system and it's good to be around people who care about each other and look out for each other and are sort of building the new world in a way because the fossil fuel economy will end you know whether we like it or not either through climate catastrophe or through you know a quick and rapid transition away you know, we need a warlike mobilization. That's what we should have seen when our government declared a climate emergency. And that's what we're going to be pushing for.